What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I've changed my set around a little bit. We got some neon behind me. We're looking fresh and I'm excited to bring some more content to you guys. So what we're going to do today is another illustration using the iPad Pro with Adobe Illustrator on iPad. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, let's jump into this illustration. So I was looking around my room, not really sure what I wanted to illustrate, and I happened to look at my left hand and I saw a watch that I'm wearing. I was like, I don't think I've ever illustrated a watch before, so I decided, let's go ahead and let's make one. So what I did first was got my shapes in place, used the rectangle and the ellipse tool just to get the band and the face of the watch created. I added an outside bevel just to give it some more depth, that's where you see the gold. And then I had to start working on the face of the watch. So I knew I didn't want to go ahead and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That would be too tedious. I was just going to do shapes and I happened to do a circle and I was able to use the radial symmetry tool to go ahead and create that easily. That's a really good tool that uh, Illustrator has on the iPad and they've also just incorporated that on the desktop version. So really, really enjoy that tool. It makes quick work of difficult things like patterns like you saw in the watch face. So here what I'm doing is I'm adding the little holes in the band. All I did was align that and uh, space them out evenly. That creates the look of the little holes that your watch attaches to. Makes it nice and uh, it was quick and easy to do. On the right hand side, that's where I'm going to add the clasp of the watch. So the little buckle, you know. And so what I'm doing here is just adding some rectangles. I'm going to undo that uh, rounded edge that I had, make it flat. That way I can start adding the buckle where it needs to go. So in order to get the buckle, I knew I needed to use the shape builder tool, just a rectangle subtracted from a rectangle, and that gives us the desired look. I stretched it a little bit just to make sure it fit the right width that I was looking for, but really quick and easy way to get the look of the buckle that I wanted. I did go ahead and round those corners just to keep it consistent with the rest of the piece. So here I'm doing the face of the watch again. I wasn't really satisfied with how the uh, circles looked. I wanted the uh, rectangles I thought that would look a little bit better a little bit more realistic that's what my watch looked like so I was like yeah I think I want to do that so I go in ahead and I got rid of the circle version and did the radial symmetry tool on the rectangles in my opinion I think that looks a lot better so I decided I was gonna change the colors I found a color palette that I really liked and I decided to go ahead and change the colors while I was at it. I thought this was a lot more retro, a lot more fun and definitely something I could see hanging up in my office. So once I saw that color palette, I decided to go ahead and switch that up. That's the fun thing about this though. If you're following along with me, feel free to play with, with whatever color you want. I mean, that's the fun of the illustration. So now we're gonna add the shadows. I always say it in my videos, but this is my favorite part. I really think this is where your piece comes alive. It adds so much more depth and detail and takes your piece to the next level. Also, it really means that you're getting close to the end of the design, so we can always celebrate that. So a lot of these shadows, you'll see me draw them but a good bit of them, I'll just duplicate the layer, turn it black and drop the opacity. That's a quick and easy way to get a good shadow and it, it's a lot more clean. But it really depends on the iPad, it's really fast to use the pencil tool and draw your shadow. So you just gotta decide what kind of look you're going for. And so now I'm going through and I'm adding the highlights. These are just gonna be strokes. So I use the pencil tool to draw the stroke and uh, just put my little bars of highlights where I want them to go. Again, this just helps with the depth and it creates a lot more detail and fun to the piece. I really like the highlights. I think those are probably my favorite part when it comes to shadows and highlights. Now I got pretty much everything where I want it. I'm going to center it, add my final shadow, and that's where we like it, guys. Well, there it is, guys. That's the final piece. I had a lot of fun putting this together, and I really like the outcome. If you guys want this file, I'll have it free in my Discord. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you want to see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. 
check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well, guys, I appreciate you being here. Until the next time, peace.